There's only one got one of those, I wonder. Me and Uncle Dean are very intelligent men. We might not look it, but we really, really are. And I've got lots of GCSEs, and um, Uncle Dean's got lots of E's, and G's, and C's, and F's, and H's. And vitamin C, D, E, and multivitamins, I take. So we're having a discussion this morning about um, mass production of the, of the same record, basically, because... Me and Uncle Dean like to collect things. We're very collectible. But since the internet come out, you can actually just Google it and whatever. Even though it's nice to have it in the packaging, we still like what we like. So every 50th anniversary or every 40th anniversary or every 30th anniversary or every 20th anniversary, they release another box set. Sorry to interrupt you, sir. Yes. But now they do it every year. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? Right. Like the Beatles' first album come out in 1963. Um, there's an anniversary every like five years of that. So it's like that you had the. So it, say it started like on the 20th anniversary, the 25, 30th, 35, 40th. And we're up to the 50th now. And what do you get different from the each one? Price just goes up. So what is the logic or the reason? Surely it'd be best to have the original. Mm, no, inferior. Uh, um, can you explain, please? Technology, modern technology has got so good now, they reproduce the originals better, they're better quality, the sound's better, the packaging's better, and sometimes you get extra things in it. Um, so I don't know why people chase after originals at thousands of pounds when they can go in the shop and pay £20 for a sealed, brand new one with extras, and it's produced to the T. All the stickers, the artwork, inlays, posters, pictures and everything, and you can download it as well, without even having to play the record if you don't want to paint the record. So basically, they're just basically mass-producing the same stuff, and... The public all... have been left, led astray. So, Money again. So people should not believe the hype? No. It, it's, it's nice. If you, if you like collecting, it's nice. But at the end of the day, um, the past, if you go and play something from the past, original 63 first album, some people want that original mono sound. I understand that. I do. But you can still get that for 20 quid. So the point is, this mass production thing, the whole logic of it is just to get more money. Get more money, keep the band or artist in the mainstream and so it's persisted again and again and again forever and ever when we're all dead and gone. So is it best just to be satisfied with what you have and there's no point to go over the top and keep trying to be in the, in the, in the cool gang to keep up to date? I've got the, I've got the remastered of so and so, you mean? Yeah. Um, no, not really. If you want, if you, if you just start now collecting music, say, We'll take the Beatles, as we're the subject as I'll go be about. If yep. you want everything, go on eBay, buy a box set of everything they've done, British releases, £20, 13 CDs, produced lovely, dead to the originals, and you get videos in there, extras, and you get all the past masters. See, people look for records for the B-sides they get, can't get, so they have to spend a fortune on a single. When it's all in that box set, you don't need to look anymore. It's all there. So, what we're going to say to people that really want to keep mass collecting everything and keep keep up to date, there's just no point. What, you collecting the originals or just collecting the music? Well, either way, I mean... You're being conned by uh, paying uh, a fortune for originals. You're going to need a bigger house at this rate because they're, they're going to keep releasing the same thing so many times that you don't even know what you like anymore. So yeah. I just think, you, you, keep things simple. They're leading you when you should be, they should be following what you're into. You're following what they're into. You're buying what they want you to buy. Yep. The pop charts has never been full of music what's worth anything because it's made for financial gains, not for the love of music. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mass production is a scam. Mass production is overrated. And just be happy with what you got. Yes. Don't keep trying to keep up with this 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 uh, race, which is out of our hands. Because every anniversary, they're going to re release the same thing again and again and again. And yes, it has its benefits. And yes, it's this. Yes, it's that. 
but you're going to be a, need to be a very rich person to keep up with the scam. The scam is mass production is all about money. Yeah. They live, what they, with the originals, see, people pay thousands and thousands for one record. They're tatty, worn out, they jump, they skip, whatever. When you pay £20 for the same thing, what's a better quality, brand new seal, and you can download it for nothing. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We are teaching you to step away from the mainstream. Be happy with what you got. Please stop chasing mass production. It's all about money. You're going to need a very big house and you're going to need a lot of money to keep up with the, with the system, with the music industry. It's beyond the artist. We're talking about record labels, companies beyond us. And maybe Uncle Dean can go into detail a bit more about this. But it's not so much that that we're buying anymore. We're paying for the record company to have a month in the Bahamas. Yeah, and of course, if you're collecting Beatles, EMI, they're the biggest supporters of nuclear war. So ladies and gentlemen, mass production is a scam. You just need to step back, be happy with what you got, and stop trying to keep up with the Joneses. Because ladies and gentlemen, the Joneses are much richer than you and me. See, I've had the originals of whatever artist, and some of them not listenable. Because they hiss, jump, and there's tatty covers. People, antiques, it's like an antique, isn't it? You see, people, they're playing on people for nostalgia and having the original production. When you get something the same, at the end of the day, it's the sound and the music, isn't it? So why spend a fortune on something that's worn out and naked when you get next to nothing? The point of this video, ladies and gentlemen, is to stop people with eager eyes wanting more, 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 more. We want you to be happy with what you got, and most of it you can get for free anyway. Yeah. So please, don't overdo it. Be yourself, shine on, make love, dance in the rain, and please stop mass production destroying people's lives. People have died over mass production. People have died over what they got. And is it worth it? I think health and freedom is much more than any item or material on planet Earth. Mass production, step away from it. Can I just say one thing then before we finish, sir? Go on, sir. Last night, I was on the tablet and it come up. Elvis Presley Beatles, free, legally download music, complete. You can download it all for nothing if you know where you're going. And you just got to hit the right buttons and it's all legal, you read the the agreement, and you say yes or no, the decision is down to you, and you can have it all nothing on the hard drive if you want, but you, you know, and the art works there if you want it. So that's down, down to the consumer, basically, what they want. So we're just trying to say to people that are not very rich and they're trying to get their record collection up or whatever, whatever, yeah. whatever, it's all mass production. Yeah, go for box sets. And just be happy with what you got. Yeah. And stop trying to chase the same dream. If you got it once, you got it forever. Yeah. What they're living on is see people what you got it. weren't born when them records come out and they want the originals. Yep. And they're chasing after something what's an inferior sound to something what's cheap in the shop now, reproduced. reproduced. Mass production is a scam. Hmm. Mass production is way beyond me and you. Please stop making people that you don't ever meet rich. Just be happy with what you got. Remember what mass production is. It's for about people that should be satisfied with their health and with their freedom. And as you know, sir, end of the day, anything's only worth what someone's prepared to pay for it, isn't it? Amen. And I can sell you all four Beatles for a very cheap price, even though there might be two missing. Shh. That's Keep that between people. us. Mass production, it's a scam. We love you, Uncle Dean. Shine on. Shine on, Uncle Dean. Keep playing them 45s and 78s. And, and whatever you're thinking about doing and whatever you're going to do, people, make sure you do what you don't do, do what you do, do what you don't do, do what you do, do, people. And do something.